Harry Schnellman here again, back with the second part of our video on how to distribute diatomaceous earth or amphorous silica, amphorous silica. Food grade is important. You don't want to breathe the stuff, but ingesting it, since it's organic, it's not necessarily going to hurt you. In fact, this is an additive to many animal feeds for elimination of internal worms. Probably works on humans as well. The way we distribute this stuff, since any sort of wetting agent will cause it to clump and lose effectiveness, is we take a coffee can. There are several ways. My preferred way is to take a coffee can. You don't, again, you don't want to breathe this stuff because it's so fine. It's like breathing fine sand. And you put a little pile, a small pile of it, in front of the plant that you want to be covered both on the underside of the leaves and the top of the leaves uh, for, for most effectiveness. If you cover only the top of the leaves, there are many non-beneficial insects, for instance aphids, that will breed and uh, consume from the underside of the leaves. This is why it's so important to have even distribution of this great stuff. And again, this has been certified for organic use by the OMRI. So once we have our amphorous silica, or diatomaceous earth, distributed, we will very carefully mist these tomato plants so as to get full cover. You want to make sure that you miss both the underside and the top of the leaves. So you want to make sure it's on mist. That's not mist. There we go. This is mist, as you can see. Oh, well, we didn't need this. That's excess weight. Now, we simply go down the row. Doesn't take much, just a fine mist. Try not to get it on your piles of amphorous silica, otherwise known as diatomaceous earth. And this how to video is brought to you by ML Gardens, purveyors of fine, rare strains of tomatoes and growers of fine, rare strains of tomatoes. We can be reached on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash ML Gardens or Twitter at ML Gardens. We also maintain a Google blog, which can be found at ML Gardens. Now, we take a leaf blower. This is a common instrument that can be obtained pretty much anywhere, including pawn shops and big box home improvement stores, with about a $275 difference. This is a two-stroke vacuum blower, courtesy of uh, my friend Brian Valentine who is a friend of ML Gardens on Facebook. And you can see, typically will fire up just a couple of holes.
added benefit to using a two-cycle leaf blower is the wonderful fragrance of two-cycle motor oil late in the afternoon and early evening. Additionally, as you can see, the diatomaceous earth, also known as Amphorus silica, has been evenly spread out through all the garden and is, being, is landing on any non-beneficial insects and beneficial insects or nematodes that are out there. However, the non-beneficials typically outnumber the beneficials, so it's a cost-effective, organic way to get rid of nematodes that are going to eat your hard worked on tomatoes. Thank you, that's all for today. Larry Schnellman from ML Gardens, www.facebook.com slash ML Gardens, signing off. Thank you.